Hey guys, what is going on? I hope you all are doing well today. Elliot here and welcome back to the Fragrance Well. It's good to be back. I've been out of town for a while. Good to get back into the swing of doing some videos. So today, uh, we've been talking about fall fragrances. I figured we could keep that going. And today we're gonna focus on date night fall fragrances, which is basically a fragrance that works in fall temperatures or over the fall and or autumn season. And you're going out uh, for a night out or a date night out or whatever. One of the great things about fall temperature centered fragrances is a lot of them, if not most of them, really can work for this category or this occasion. Some of the best fall fragrances, in my opinion, are gonna have spicy notes, they're gonna have ambery accords, maybe some tobacco here and there, but really that kind of spice and amber combination makes up a lot of fall fragrances. And if they're done well, that can make up a really good date night or night out fragrance. So that's today's video topic, fall date night or night out fragrances, and I have got 10 of them for you today. Got some uh, typical ones, some well-known ones. Tried to throw in a couple there that may not get talked about as much, but we're gonna get into it. Before we do though, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you like the content, and remember to hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Let's get into it. All right, so first up, coming from the House of Prada, we've got Luna Rosa Black. Prada, Luna Rosa Black. To me, this one is still by far the best Luna Rosa fragrance. But I don't think we're gonna get any more variations of this because, you know, this one is not going to be the best seller out of them. There are others that are just, let's just call it, easier to wear, more universal, more versatile for lack of a better word, but this one is definitely, in my opinion, the best iteration of a date night fragrance that can work in great fall temperatures. So you're gonna find this one to be uh, floral, slightly floral, a little bit powdery, but also spicy and ambery. Pretty basic uh, composition, if you will, but boy does it smell good, it's done very well, and I think it makes an awesome date night fragrance. On top of that, it smells great in cooler temperatures and wears well in cool temperatures. So a good fall option in general, really. Uh, I remember there were some rumblings about this being discontinued. It looks like that has been debunked. I still see this fragrance regularly. I haven't heard anything else about it. So you can still find it. Unfortunately on discounters, still doesn't go that discounted uh, from its uh, full retail price, but it's a great pickup nonetheless, in my opinion. Once again, from the house of Prada, we've got Luna Rosa Black. Next up, coming from the house of Frappon, we have got 1270. Frappon's 1270, and real quick, just show you the back of the bottle because that insignia is really, really nice. Anyway, from the house of Frappon, you are typically going to get fragrances that have some type of uh, boozy aspect to them, as the company in general does make uh, cognacs, if I'm not mistaken. This one is no different. You're also gonna get some uh, dried fruits uh, with this one, so it's a little bit fruity, but in that dried fruits type of realm, a little bit of a nuttiness to it. There's a very nice honey accord in here, so some sweetness with it as well, and just a nice kind of fruity booziness kind of sitting in the background of this one. This one is a little bit reserved in that boozy quality, but it definitely has it. I think this fragrance does have a nice uh, class and elegance to it, so you gotta kinda keep that in mind in terms of where you might be going for your night out or the day night out, at least in my opinion, but the fragrance is very nice, great, for the fall temperatures and definitely works as a really good date night or night out fragrance. So once again, from the house of Frappon, this is 1270. All right, next up from the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier, we have got Le Mal Elixir. Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mal Elixir. Now, if this had been last year, I definitely would have been saying uh, Le Mal Le Parfum. I still think that fragrance is great, but I do think I like this one a little bit better. Oh man, that is good stuff there. Little goes a long way with this. Obviously, if you're wearing this for a date night, you don't need a ton of it. But if you're going for a night out in general, then maybe you can go a little bit heavier. But this fragrance definitely packs a punch, so I don't think you need a ton of sprays, as you typically would find with most Lamal fragrances, or at least the cool weather ones. Still has that classic lavender and mint combination known for from the original Lamal fragrance. This one introduces quite a bit of tonka bean and benzoin to aid it and give it that 
modern masculine sweetness that you find in so many fragrances, but definitely does it in its own way. This one's not quite as powdery as Le Mal uh, Le Parfum is, so if you don't really wanna go that powdery route, uh, you don't have to with this iteration of the Lamal line. But no doubt about it, this one is so enjoyable to smell. Great date night option, especially for the cooler fall and autumn temperatures. So once again, from the house of John Paul Gaultier, this is gonna be Lamal Elixir. All right, so this one's gonna be coming from the house of Amwaj, and this is gonna be Journeyman. Amwaj's Journeyman. So this one here is gonna give you that tobacco fix if that's something you wanna go for. Oh man, great quality tobacco fragrance, quite spicy as well. Good balance between those two elements. Also has a good amount of like Embroxen like woods in here. Uh, it's an ombudge fragrance, so you can expect, you know, some decent longevity out of it. But obviously for a date night scenario, I don't think that should really be the focus, but maybe for a night out it is. Just a touch of sweetness in this one with some Tonka bean, and there is a kind of a leathery undertone to it as well, just giving a little bit more of an oomph to it. But this is a beautiful, cool weather fragrance, great for a date night out if you want to go into that more tobacco direction. Once again, from the house of Amwage, this is Journeyman. All right, moving on from the house of Lalique, we've got Ombre Noir. Lalique's Ombre Noir. And this is actually my scent of the day today and I am definitely enjoying wearing it. So I've described this fragrance uh, pretty much every time I've talked about it as basically being uh, whiskey in an oak barrel and surrounded by a bunch of Christmas time spices. So yes, the fragrance does have that holiday kind of vibe to it, but that doesn't make it any less of a good option for a date night fragrance in the fall. The fragrance smells very yummy on skin. Uh, on skin, the cognac notes definitely come out a little bit more. It kind of blends with some myrrh to give it this a, a kind of a warm characteristic to it. There's also some tonka bean in the base, giving it a little bit more sweetness off of the skin, but it still has those uh, whiskey and an oak barrel elements to it and the spices. You got like cinnamon and things like that. Very nice date night fragrance in my opinion. Great for the fall temperatures and also not super expensive like you get with most Lalique fragrances. So once again, from the house of Lalique, this is Ombre Noir. Next up, coming from the house of Chanel from the exclusives collection, this is Le Leon de Chanel. Le Leon de Chanel basically translates to the lion if you haven't figured that out already. And man, boy, that is some good stuff there. Stuff there, uh, quite pungent as well. I will give you a warning uh, before I really even start talking about this fragrance. Little goes a long way with this stuff. Very, very strong. Uh, I just picked this up and I was able to wear it in some cold weather and I went minimal sprays and yeah, it packs a punch. So you would find this fragrance to be very spicy and very resinous in nature, primarily coming from a note of labdanum, a lot of labdanum. It also has some very earthy characteristics, quite a bit of patchouli in this as well, blending with a good amount of sandalwood. But this fragrance here smells amazing in my opinion, but this is not gonna be for everybody. I would definitely put a stipulation on this one where I would only wear this to a more elegant occasion. Doesn't have to be black tie or anything like that, but if it's something casual, I don't think this fragrance will really work Work. That's just my opinion though, but this is an awesome cool weather fragrance that definitely packs a punch. You don't need a lot of it, but it definitely has this sexy aura to it as well, kind of a primal animalic tinge to it. So I think it makes a great date night fragrance, particularly if you're dressing up a little bit. So once again, from the house of Chanel, this is Le Leon de Chanel. All right, next up from the house of Initio Parfums, we've got Blessed Baraka. Initio Parfums, Blessed Baraka. Fragrance here, pretty simple in nature. It's basically like a white floral amber fragrance with a touch of spice to it, but a lot of sweetness, as you probably would expect from a lot of initial fragrances if you are familiar with them. I do think most people would probably go with side effect over this one, and I do agree. That's a popular and great choice for the fall temperatures as well as a date night, but in my honest opinion, Side effect is a little bit boring. I, I just, I'm just kind of bored of it. I, as soon as I smell it, I'm like, it smells good, but it doesn't really wow me that much. Now, while this fragrance is also simple, I do find it a little bit more interesting. But yeah, that is essentially what this fragrance gives you. Some white florals, a little bit of a spice to it, touch of creaminess, and a lot of sweetness in an ambery form. Amazing fragrance in my opinion, great for the fall temperatures, great for a night out. Once again, from the house of Initial, Fragr uh, Initial Parfums, this is Blessed Baraka. All right, next up from the house of Mason Francis Kirk John, this is Grand Soir. 
Mason Francis Kirk Johns Grand Soir. Another amber fragrance, so fits right into the category of this list. Has quite a bit of spice to it. Also a lot of labdanum-like resins in this one, but definitely presented in a different way compared to La Leon from Chanel. This one is also quite sweet, but it just smells so good in the air, has this amazing allure to it. Those of you who are familiar with this fragrance know what I'm talking about, but this is a perfect fragrance for fall temperatures, perfect for a date night or a night out. I mean, it's pretty much a classic at this point. It, I mean, great amber fragrance in my opinion, and one that I think can always go on a list like this. So once again, from the house of Mason Francis Kirk John, this is Grand Soir. All right, guys, last but certainly not least, from the house of Dolce & Gabbana, this is the one Eau de Parfum. The one Eau de Parfum from Dolce & Gabbana. I mean, it's kind of hard to leave this one off any list like this because it's so perfect. You know, it's already, in my opinion, the quintessential designer date night fragrance, but when you throw in uh, a season in the mix fall, <laughs> it's, it, it becomes the number one choice, in my opinion, if I was gonna recommend a designer date night fragrance for someone. I think this fragrance just encapsulates everything that is great about the fall temperatures and a date night fragrance. You know it well, spicy, ambery tobacco fragrance makes great use of cardamom and ginger combination, kind of an orange, flavor tinge to it, coming from some orange blossom, and of course, tobacco and amber in the dry down. This fragrance is always going to be a great option for a list like this. I just decided to include it because, I mean, you just always have to pay this one its respects. So once again, from the house of Dolce & Gabbana, this is the one Eau de Parfum. Eau de Toilette will work too. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. That was 10 fall temperature date night slash night out fragrances. Hope you guys enjoyed the list. Leave a comment down below. What's one fragrance you are definitely looking forward to wearing in the fall temperatures that would be good for a night out or a date night. I appreciate you guys watching all the way into the end. Remember to be well and smell well, and I will see you in the next episode of The Fragrance Well. Have a good one.